We are middle schoolers from all over Fort Worth. This week, we're exploring careers in government at the city of Fort Worth. Three, two, one. At Fort Worth TV, we recorded audio for this video and used the green screen to make it look like we're in the stockyards instead of the studio. Moo? At the communications team office, we learned about writing and editing a story, creating graphics to go with it, and then putting all of those elements together on the city's website. At Teen Corps, we played the role of a prosecutor, defense attorney, judge, and jury in a mock trial. The Vital Link program is awesome. We enjoy exploring cities of Fort Worth careers and seeing how school can help us get a job. Hello and welcome to Middle School Shenanigans. My name is Sierra and I'll be your host today. My, fellows, my fellow t guests today are my fellow students. Thank you for joining me. I like to go down the line and have each of you introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about something about yourself. My name is Diego. Um, I have two cats, two cars, and my grandma just passed away two days ago. Oh. Was this two truths and a lie? <laughs> my name's Eliana, and I have three wiener dogs, and I got a big little pool. Anyways, uh, my name is Aaron Onieno. I only came here because the check was massive, and I'm getting paid $50 an hour. Well, y'all don't know who told him that, but it's okay. Anyways, I'm glad to have you here today. Now, let's get down to business with today's conversational topic. Hot dogs. Are they sandwiches? You have two pieces of bread, a piece of meat. Some say yes and some say no. Let's go down the line and get your opinions. Is a hot dog a sandwich, yes or no? I think a hot dog is a sandwich because it has two buns mixed together. Actually, that's a confusing question. I had to say, it probably is because it's the, like, I would say what brings a sandwich together is the two bread, so, yeah. I say hot dogs are overrated. Overrated. That's it. Okay, period. They're overrated. Preach, okay. Well, thank you all for joining me today. And until again, until next time, my friends. Ooh, that was so icy. Hello and welcome to the Fort Worth TV studio. My name is Eliana Angiano and I'll be your host today. My guests today are my fellow students. Thank you for joining me. I'd like to go down on each known line of, to introduce yourselves and talk about your, something about yourselves. Uh, my name's Diego. I own two houses and um, I'm the owner of the CCA Bank Company. My name is Sierra. I own not one, but three hospitals as well as I'm an anesthesiologist, licensed, of course. And I have three dogs. My name is Aaron. I'm the janitor. They cannot find any other people here, and the budget is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to have you here today. Now let's go like get down to business with today's co um, conversational topic. King Kong versus Godzilla, a giant lizard fights a giant ape, who would win? Let's go down the line and get your opinions. I think that Godzilla would win because he has a laser that comes out of his mouth which, which could penetrate King Kong's heart. I think Godzilla will win because he's family. I think King Kong would win because in the movies he has an axe. <laughs> well, that there you have it, folks. Thank you, thank you all for joining me today. Hello, and welcome to the Reality Reel. My no. name is Sierra. My name is Eliana, and today we're going to be introducing some special guests. Starting with, uh, this is Aaron. Aaron is a rodeo clown at the stockyards. <laughs> And this is Mr. Terrence. He is a My Little Pony producer. <laughs> <laughs> These are real jobs. Okay, so our question, um, we, just, we brought y'all here today to interview y'all, and that's what we're going to do. Are you scared of clowns is the question. 
Yes. Why? Because they're scary. Okay. Like, what if they're like fun clowns? Are, like, well, you don't know if they're fun or scary clowns. Period. Uh huh. What about you, Erin? I have never seen a clown in my life. What about that one back there? One right there. That's the first time I seen a clown. Okay, but do you think if that clown is scary, or like, do you think he is like, you know, fun? I think he looks horrific. Not terrifying. Not that he's scary, but he's ugly. Oh, okay. He's giving somebody, okay. somebody had a bad so, uh, time at the salon. But, but you know, we won't talk on that, you know. How, how are y'all jobs? I hear that you're a My Little Pony director. How does that feel? You made Rainbow Dash, you made all those people. What did you do during the process? Like made you think, oh, she needs to be blue. I had lots of fun doing it because it was very, I get to be creative with the different colors and the ponies and just have lots of uh, opportunities to share my work across the world. I'm glad you had that great opportunity, Mr. Aaron. How do you feel about being a rodeo clown? I do not remember being a rodeo clown. I woke up in an alley one day and someone painted me like a clown. See, so why are you like, how do you not know if you're scared of clowns, but like you were a clown? Because I didn't have a mirror. Okay. Oh. That's smart. Period. He didn't That's have that smart. mirror mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Because it was <laughs> not him. <laughs> but, and there you have it, people. Also, one more question. What made you decide Pinkie Pie for pink? Or did you like come up with the name first and then the pink, yeah. or like the pink and then the name? The name first, then the color. Okay, I see how it is. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for joining us on The Reality Reel. Come back next week.